given our own situation and experience and history, we don't take anything for granted. So you're ready to fight if need be? Whether this Eastern Congo situation and what comes out to flows over to our territory or anything else, we are ready to fight. Because we, we are there as a result of having fought for our own rights and existence. There's no question about it. So we are not shying away from saying if anybody finds us uh, or threatens us, I mean, I don't, it's not a secret. We are are you fight. afraid of Western sanctions because of the presence denounced of your troops in let your... Let me tell you, let me tell you this. With our history, with all these things we are talking about, the way we have been shaped by these hardships and the injustices and it doesn't matter by who, we are not afraid of anything. I think uh, we are brothers that Africa, we all Africans, there is no need to fight each other. If there is any problem between we among ourselves, we need to choose or we need to seek a better way to solve it because fighting always is not a solution. Uh, we have been calling for Africa Unite, Africa having one currency, one president, one army, one language and so on as a state we need to share. But when it's come to uh, one and another within the continent of Africa, don't understand each other. This may be a bad time or a difficult way for we or this may be the one of the obstacles to reach our agendas. So we all know that our African agendas is always want us to unite in order to reach our goals at a certain time. But if we engage in fighting, this is will not, uh, this, this I mean, this will not achieve. So once we heard the speech from President Pokagame once said he is lady, to fight with the Democratic uh, of Congo. This is not uh, the better way, I think. And I hope you also think that Africa, we don't need to fight each other. Good example, what we see in uh, in Sahel region there, we see our brothers now, they are joined together to form uh, the solid uh, states which can make them to reach their goals. So not only in West Africa, we want to see this in the whole continent of Africa. I mean in East, uh, South, Central, and every part of Africa, where we see African unite together and make this happen because what we need now is to unite and we always sometimes we call for the African diaspora to join the movement, but once they see uh, their fellow, their relatives in the continent of Africa starting uh, fighting each other, always they will not have the uh, passion to come uh, home. They are still there in the diaspora because where they want to turn, there is no peace. So you can see uh, Rwandan president and the president of Democratic Republic of Congo, and now in a collision, as long time we see this, but this is the, for the first time to see one of them uh, speaking that he is ready to fight. Let us now fight for the development of Africa. Let us fight for the Africa that we want. Let us fight to, the, to unite this continent of Africa, not fighting for each other. We are brothers. We are relatives. Always I heard the speech from Julius Malema saying that uh, if you want uh, me to lie to you in the name of vote, please stay with your vote. He means that he is led to, uh, to speak or to stand in front to the, I mean, to make the black people feel proud. 
so this is what uh, westerners they don't want to see so if uh, we ourselves we engage in this conflict this is what they want to see and they will fund this war so we can lose the our life i mean the life of our brothers and sisters children our mothers and so many people who will be involved in that conflict so let us find a better way for we uh, to solve our own problem because the problem of africa is the opportunity to the westerners so let us hide this and make the talk this um, democratic talk between uh, these two countries let us them set and find the better way of solving this conflict not even to engage in uh, in conflict because all these are in, uh, in East Africa so you can see now if uh, Rwanda fought being fighting with the Democratic Republic of Congo. The rest of countries in uh, in the East Africa must be involved in this conflict. This is clear. So you find the uh, this uh, East African we are not understand each other. So let us by doing that, there is no means of uniting as East African community. Let us find a better way for these two countries. Let us, I want to hear the speech or the words from other countries in East Africa. Speak about this. Let us them advise their brothers to take a better way to solve this issue. Because once we engage in conflict, not only the conflict of Congo and Rwanda, this is for the Eastern countries, and any other side, this is for the conflict for the whole continent of Africa because the some uh, country their best friend is Rwanda and other is in, is Congo. So if you find your best uh, is Rwanda, Rwanda is in East Africa. So the whole East African country is your best. So let us put away this issue and have the better way to solve our challenges. I don't want to see this. The current generation, we have the great uh, time or we have the great role to shift the continent of Africa to the Africa that we want. And this conflict is not what we want. Let us choose the better way to solve this uh, conflict. So brothers and sisters, you may add something in this issue because what we need to see now is the great i mean great continent of africa this is what i want to share with you please even you you can write down in the comment section what you think about this thanks for watching aid apart from that we can see uh now drc burundi borders and what this is another issue where we see congolese and burundian people pile uh, onto these tractors and across a four kilometer strengthening of road flowed by Lake Tanganyika to reach the Kanvimvira border post between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Burundi. For more than six months, passengers have been changed between 2,000 and 5,000 FC to travel in a heavy truck or land cruiser jeeps to the border. Uh, for these, for those with less financial means, canoes costing 2,000 francs uh, FC of, uh, offer a solution. Safi Mugoli, resident of Uvira, on her way to Bujumbura, described the current situation as catastrophic and uh, unprecedented. The road of the border is underwater, so we cross by canoes or farming traitors sometimes we fall into the water and risk drown we are asking the state to help us with this uh, custom road facing with the suffering more and more people are killing in the congolese government to urgently find a solution to easy traffic between the two countries and help local residents especially small traders we sleep under tents with the children we suffer a lot because we have nowhere to go, even to go to the market 
we have to take a canoe if you don't have money you have to swim the women are suffering from infections and we are desperate the south kivu provide government through its spokesman acknowledged the consequence of the risking water level at the border there were pillars already built uh, that were submerged uh, every time the water rose and blocked the work a bridge is under construction to allow a regular crossing what has been done at Kimvira can also be done at Sanke so we are not standing still and are always looking for solution as long as the government is as present solution will always be found and the provincial government seeks a solution to this problem the Kimvira border remains the main access route to Bujumbura for many travelers as Burundi has closed its border with Rwanda.